hello dear students welcome to axiomatic course this video is the part of the solution series for iit jam 2009 so we are here with this problem 3 of your paper this problem is from the topic analysis so let us firstly read this problem and then we will proceed with the solution the question is asking which of the following sequence of function is uniformly convergent on this open interval 0 1 so we have four functions which we have to check uh, which are uniformly convergent or not right so what I will do I will begin with my first function that is option a right so where am I okay so now firstly let me change my uh, color So the first sequence of function is this fnx is equal to x to the power n. Now firstly see we have to find out whether they are convergent uniformly convergent or not. So convergent where we are talking. So for that matter we have to evaluate the point wise limit for this function and on that point wise limit we will check whether they are uniformly convergent or not. So the first step to determine uniform convergence is to determine the point wise convergence so for this function fx is actually the limit n goes to infinity fnx and what is your fnx fnx is x to the power n now see x belongs to this open interval 0 1 right now since x belongs to open interval 0 1 therefore you can say that this limit is 0 because this number is lying between 0 to 1 okay it, it cannot be 1 therefore it's always less than 1 now since it's less than 1 and you are multiplying it uh, infinite times and by multiplying a small number infinite times you will get infinitely many small number so I can say that limit is 0 okay so I have to check whether or not this x to the power n function converges uniformly to 0 for that matter what I will do I will introduce MN test and MN test will help us to solve this question quickly right so now let uh, let us wait I will show you MN test okay so this is MN test let us read it firstly what we have it says if D is a subset of R okay D actually represent domain and let FN be a sequence of function okay point wise convergent on D so Fn should be point wise convergent on D then Mn is defined as supremum of this Fnx minus Fx okay absolute value then Fn is uniformly convergent on D to F if and only if this limit Mn goes to 0 so this is Mn test that we will be using here okay so now let us begin we have proved that fnx converges point wise to 0 now we have to prove okay whether or not this mn converges to 0 or not so mn is actually the supremum of x belonging to 0 1 fnx minus fx right so c what is your fnx it's x to the power n and what is your uh, fx it's zero so you have to determine the supremum for this okay right now n is constant you have to uh, you don't have to treat n as variable n is constant so you have to determine the uh, maximum or uh, not maximum i will say supremum of this x to the power n see if you will okay this is your number line okay let me draw it this is zero this is one now as you goes towards 0 okay n is constant as you go towards 0 this x to the power n the modulus value of x to the power n actually goes towards 0 so as you go on the opposite direction that means as you go toward 1 this number will reach 1 uh, will go to the 1 to the power n are you getting my point or not so this number this x to the power n will uh, increase 
if you will move your x okay this is the range of your x okay from which uh, you you can take your x this is the domain actually not the range sorry so this is your x so if you will move your x towards 1 your number will increase 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 so that means what will be the supremum of x to the power n i'm not using any test i'm just using intuition so supremum will be 1 to the power n okay when you will place 1 here that means it's 1 now the theorem demands that for uniform convergence you need this limit to be 0 but you obtained your mn sequence to be a constant sequence so it converges to 1 since it does not converges to 0 that means your a option is incorrect so from here i have proved that your a is an incorrect option right now let us talk about your b option for your b option what is your fnx b option your fnx is n over nx plus 1 right now let me check whether or not uh, this n over nx plus 1 is uniformly convergent or not so firstly let us try to determine this point wise limit fx so what is fx fx is actually limit n goes to infinity n over nx plus 1 now what you can do let me raise this part okay so what you can do actually you can divide by n right so you will get x plus 1 over n that means you will get 1 over x okay you are right now on 0 to 1 okay x uh, belongs to 0 to 1 so this sequence of function fnx converges to this 1 over x okay so now let us define your mn okay it converges point wise so it satisfies the conditions for the mn test so now define your mn your x belongs to 0 to 1 open 0 to 1 n over nx plus 1 minus 1 over x right so it is supremum of x belonging to 0 to 1 now let us take lcm then what will happen on the numerator part your nx will be cancelled out and you will obtain nx plus 1 and here x right this is what you will get now you have to obtain the supremum for this given function fx right now since it's 1 over this thing that means whenever this number that you have okay in the de denominator okay i'm talking about the denominator so when this denominator decreases okay when this denominator decreases your function your this this function or i will say this number will increase okay if denominator decreases now if what how how much can this denominator decrease you have numbers between x is in between 0 to 1 so whenever you will uh, keep okay i will draw that number line again you have 0 you have 1 so when you will move your x towards 0 then your numerator will actually turn 0 okay it will reach a 0 now since it will reach a 0 that means the whole number will be infinite that means supremum for this given function that i have taken 1 over nx plus 1 into x is actually infinity are you getting my point or not so this is an unbounded function therefore its supremum is infinity now according to the result that we have we need limit mn goes to 0 for the function to be uniformly continuous uh, uniformly converged sequence of function now since you are getting infinity over here that means directly you can say that your b option is actually a incorrect option right you got my point or not so b is again an incorrect option okay so now let us check your c option in the exam you might you may be lucky enough if you directly go to the c option and directly apply this mn test over there then you will find out that c is correct and you don't need to check a b and d you're getting my point or not so let me check your c option now what is your sequence of function here it's x over nx plus 1 so firstly i need to determine my point wise limit so what is point wise limit it's actually limit n goes to infinity 
fnx and what is fnx it's x over nx plus 1 now since your x is non zero okay it's it's in between 0 to 1 if this x is non zero so whenever you will place infinity over here what you will get you will get non zero number upon infinity so that's actually zero are you getting my point or not so the problem arises when x is zero but we don't have it now in our domain therefore no problem we will get limit directly zero so now let us define our function mn so mn is supremum of x belonging to 0 to 1 fnx minus fx so therefore what you will get right now you will get x over nx plus 1 since uh, since your fx is 0 now see x is non-zero that means I can divide okay both numerator and denominator by x so on dividing numerator and denominator by x what you will get you will get this thing what 1 over n plus 1 over x now you have to determine the supremum of this function that I have written here now see in the numerator part you have n plus 1 over x now let me draw this uh, number line again so see you have 0 let us say you have 1 over here and your x so if your x will approaches to 0 let us say if your x is appro x will approaches to 0 then this 1 by x will approach to infinity now 1 by x approach to infinity that means the whole thing you are getting 1 over infinity that means you are getting 0 so that's not a supremum part are you getting my point so in order to get supremum you have to move your x towards 1 so if you will move your x towards 1 you will get 1 over n plus 1 okay so if you will move continuously move toward 1 1 1 1 then you will get your supremum because that's an increasing function toward the direction 1 you got my point or not you can visualize it yourself why 1 over n plus 1 is a supremum okay so and this when you will place x is equal to 1 you will get your supremum value otherwise you will get smaller values than that you can mm, visualize this yourself okay i leave it on you i am not explaining that part why the supremum is this 1 over n plus 1 also i am not using any test over here to get this supremum i am just using general intuition that you should have so now your mn is what your mn is 1 over n plus 1 now as n goes to infinity this thing will goes to 0 because you will get 1 over infinity over there that means this c option is actually a correct option right now c is correct and it's a single correct so therefore d is incorrect that means uh, what you can do you can use mn test for d and then prove why d is incorrect so i leave this exercise for you why d is non-uniformly convergent so this is what you can do yourself okay so now let me change my pen over here so okay wait so this means this one is incorrect this one is incorrect this is correct this is incorrect Okay, so thank you.